we had a great touch of a conversation, I wanna, I wanna close with this today, um, about aging. And you said something like, oh. um, and I think it's, there's, it isn't there an emoji, emoji that says like little hands or Oh, again with the little hands. No. <laughs> I meant actually because they were on your phone, not your little oh. hands. Mm. Um, that you said you were embracing it and wouldn't let anybody make it bad. Like you just, I, 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 what we were talking about was I said that I believe I have never felt stronger in my life. And I, and I keep saying to people, I know this is odd because I think the usual narrative is for women to start. In fact, I was with some women who we were talking and they were saying things like, talking about feeling invisible and stuff like that. And mm. I sat and I listened to them for a few minutes and I was like, you know what? No, I think that there is something about, certainly when a woman turns 40, and I thought, oh, it's just women saying it when they turn 40, but it's true. You wake up and you, go, you suddenly go, Oh my God, this is incredible. Yeah. None of the things that we worried about so much in our 20s and 30s, they, they all just go, you know? It's, I think it's an incredible- <laughs> in, a, in a good way, it's not like they just go and no, you start no, 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 showing no. up places in your pajamas. And, and people say, <laughs> well, I feel invisible. Well, okay, yeah, you're probably not gonna get hit on as much in the club. Well, you are, but that's a different thing altogether. Um, no, but you know what I'm saying. There, so you're worried about being invisible to 25 year olds? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, because I think right now it's kind of a very cool time for women. Yeah. And I think we have to start. Certainly, I look at even my mother and I go, oh, my grandmother at 60 was an old lady. Yeah. You know? Well, we're not going to be our parents 50, no. 60, 70. No. And I think it's an incredibly cool time. And I think it's, and I think we as women feel like we need to have those conversations about, well, I'm invisible now or I'm this and that. Stop with those conversations. Own how incredibly great this is. This is. Yeah. And, and, and the fact that, and I keep saying to younger women, just wait. It's a it gets really great. It's it's fabulous, and I have never felt more confident, or secure, or um, forgetful. <laughs> no, what? Um, no, I think it's. Don't you feel that way? I feel like uh, it, oh, that's so much of that. Like there was a point in my twenties and thirties and almost forties because I was still auditioning that like I'd have to go somewhere in a bathing suit, mm -hmm. like to get called back for producers at Baywatch nights, right? Mm -hmm. This is a great thing for your career. However, I don't have to go anywhere in a bathing suit anymore. Like I have great stuff happen without starving myself, worrying about 15 other things. Oh, and do I remember my lines? And how do I like, now I just show up and get to be smart and funny and great stuff happens. And I'm not, I'm really hungry. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's, and, I've and I hope you like me because of this instead of, but see, I've always been a character actress, so I have I haven't had to deal with what is I. Is this a Betty Davis, Joan Crawford conversation? <laughs> oh my God, it is. It is. But I do think that right now is kind of we just had the Emmy Awards and seeing how many women were were up there and in up it. there and in it and behind the scenes and it's just kind of fucking amazing. Do you wish you'd had kids? Um, I have a 17-year-old niece who I worship and adore. So you sideways and I, got to have kids? I really wanted kids. And then when my sister uh, adopted my niece, I... Uh, had a stroke and you had a stroke and couldn't, <laughs> couldn't speak anymore. Well, that's just... Wow, you're rude. Um, no, but I realized uh, as I was growing up that I'm too selfish. So now I am really grateful I don't have children. Oh! You didn't think that was going to be the No, answer. I get that though. But I would have really loved to. But now if I want to go away on the weekend, like I have to get a cat sitter. That's it. Exactly. <laughs> and I think that mm. I had my niece for a week. My sister went out of town and literally the first day I booked a job. So uh. I spent three hours on the phone with different parents going, hi, so if I drop Evan off, can you take her? And I will, and I was like, oh my God, I couldn't do this. I'm a selfish actress. And I get to pick up and go out of town for jobs and to, and I don't have to worry about a human being, but I do get the wonderful, that's, that's the, I get to be the, the aunt. And yeah. that's like incredible. 
that's that's and I get to drop her off. It's the best part. I love you. I love you, man. I love you, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, people. <laughs> and uh, let's give it up for Manny. Woo! And cut, Manny. Manny, cut. <laughs> Manny! Um, I just got a little, like... Did you get a Terry? Little, I just Why? got, like, because I just, I love you. So, so I just want to say thank you to my dear, dear friend, Tara who's not gonna be my dear, dear friend any longer after what I just put her through, but it was great having you. And will you please come back? Oh, me or them? They should definitely come back, and I would I would come back in in, in a New York minute or second or whatever. Or Los Angeles is. minute, because I mentioned this is about LA. And buy a house. Buy two. They're cheap. <laughs>